Well, if you were diagnosed with pancreatic cancer 40 years ago, chances were you had only months to live. Decades on and nothing's changed. Tasmanian doctors, patients and their families say enough's enough. It's time to start giving pancreatic cancer the attention and money it deserves. When Jeff Jackson was diagnosed with diabetes, he embarked on a fitness regime. The results seemed staggering. All of a sudden I'm sort of losing 10, 12 kilos and I'm sort of really happy with myself. But there was something else at play, cancer lurking on his pancreas. He had a nine hour operation to remove the tumour, followed by months of chemo and radiation. It's been a roller coaster ride, it sort of lets you know that you are mortal and uh, you know, not to take um, too much for granted. His oncologist Louise Knott says in terms of funding, pancreatic cancer is the poor cousin to other cancers. Only 6% of its victims survive five years after their diagnosis, a figure that stayed the same for 40 years. To put it into perspective, if you were diagnosed with breast or prostate cancer, your five-year um, you know, chance of being alive is around about 90%. Hard to diagnose and even harder to treat, she says pancreatic cancer has been put in the too hard basket. Having said that, there are many other difficult cancers such as melanoma and lung cancer where we've had amazing gains just in the last couple of years, so it can be done. And who knows what that could have meant for movie stars Patrick Swayze and Alan Rickman, who both died of pancreatic cancer. For newsmen Peter Harvey and Ian Ross. For Steve Jobs or for Luciano Pavarotti. I think it's all got to be hurried along a bit. It's, um... It just takes too long, yeah. um, you know, and pancreatic um, cancer sufferers don't have that time. This Sunday morning, Tasmanians are invited to pop on some purple and put your foot down for pancreatic cancer. A $25 donation will get you a five kilometre waterfront walk among friends at Sandy Bay's Long Beach Reserve. Desk here opens at 9.15 on Sunday morning, uh, but we do encourage people to register online. You can do that by visiting the Avner Foundation's website. Alison Costello, Win News. Enjoyed this Win News item? Like, tag or share with friends.